the pineal gland, a small and mysterious part of the brain, has intrigued both scientific and spiritual thinkers for centuries. Situated at the center of the brain, it's often linked with mystical experiences that go beyond mere biology. Many cultures refer to it as the third eye, suggesting a deep connection with spiritual insight and higher consciousness. This little gland has a rich history of speculation and study, with philosophers like René Descartes famously dubbing it the seat of the soul. But what makes the pineal gland so fascinating? Why have ancient traditions across the world placed such importance on it in the context of connecting the body with the spirit? Notably, between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m., this gland seems to operate in a unique way, potentially unlocking profound insights and connecting us with unseen dimensions of existence. This time is often considered ideal for meditation and reflection, as the quiet of the night helps to deepen our connection with ourselves and the cosmos, often making our dreams more vivid and meaningful. This leads us to consider why do many spiritual practices encourage nighttime meditation and why do our dreams seem richer during these hours? The pineal gland might hold the answers, so let's delve into the mysteries of this tiny organ and discover what happens between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. We'll explore the intersection of science and spirituality, shedding light on its significance in our lives. The pineal gland, shaped like a small pine cone, is nestled between the two hemispheres of the brain, near the thalamus, a key area responsible for relaying sensory and motor signals. Despite its small size, roughly 5 to 8 millimeters, and weighing about 150 milligrams, it plays a pivotal role in our endocrine system, producing crucial hormones that regulate various bodily functions. Its strategic location is no coincidence. Many spiritual traditions believe this central placement reflects its role as a bridge between the physical and spiritual realms. One of its primary functions is regulating our biological rhythms, particularly through the production of melatonin. This hormone is essential for managing our sleep-wake cycles, known as the circadian rhythm. Melatonin not only helps us sleep, but also acts as a powerful antioxidant, protecting our cells from damage and reducing inflammation. The production of melatonin is influenced by light exposure, which is why minimizing artificial light before bed is crucial for good sleep. Beyond melatonin, the pineal gland also produces serotonin, often called the happiness hormone. This neurotransmitter is vital for regulating mood, sleep, appetite, memory, and learning. Adequate levels of serotonin are linked with emotional well-being and happiness, while deficiencies can lead to depression and anxiety. Serotonin also plays a significant role in cognitive functions, enhancing memory and learning capabilities. The pineal gland produces other important compounds like arginine vasotoxin, which has natural pain-relieving properties and promotes deep, restorative sleep, and epithalamin, which supports cognitive functions and longevity by regulating the biological clock. In addition to its physiological roles, the pineal gland is frequently associated with spiritual enlightenment and higher consciousness. This tiny gland may serve as a gateway to profound spiritual experiences, linking us to a greater understanding of ourselves and the universe. As we explore these connections, we uncover not just the scientific aspects of the pineal gland, but also the spiritual dimensions that have captivated humanity for ages. As mentioned in an earlier discussion, the pineal gland has long been regarded as a crucial bridge between the physical and spiritual realms. The French philosopher René Descartes in the 17th century was among the first to propose that this tiny gland holds significant spiritual importance. He posited that the pineal gland is the seat of the soul, the point where mind and body converge. Descartes suggested that its unique position as the only unpaired structure in the brain made it an ideal mediator for the interaction between the material and the immaterial, 
essentially serving as a point where divine influence could affect physical actions and thoughts. While this idea isn't universally accepted in contemporary science, it continues to resonate within many spiritual and philosophical frameworks. The concept of the pineal gland as a third eye is not unique to Descartes. Many cultures, both ancient and modern, view this gland as an organ of spiritual perception. It's often associated with intuition and enlightenment, believed to allow individuals to perceive truths beyond physical reality. In modern discussions, the pineal gland remains a topic of interest among researchers and spiritual seekers alike, who argue that activating this gland can enhance consciousness and spiritual awareness. Practices like meditation, yoga, and other spiritual disciplines are frequently linked with the activation of the pineal gland, fostering experiences that transcend ordinary perception. Ancient Egyptians also recognized the pineal gland's spiritual significance. They symbolized it with the Eye of Horus, a powerful emblem of spiritual insight and divine protection. This suggests that the Egyptians may have understood the pineal gland's role in accessing spiritual knowledge. In Hinduism, the pineal gland corresponds with the Ajna Chakra, or Third Eye Chakra, which is considered the center of intuition and wisdom. Activating the Ajna Chakra through meditation and introspection is seen as a pathway to achieving enlightenment and cosmic consciousness. The idea of the third eye is a recurring theme across various spiritual traditions worldwide. These traditions often describe the activation of the third eye as a crucial step in spiritual awakening, enabling individuals to see beyond surface appearances and grasp deeper truths about existence. Returning to the pineal gland's functions, it plays a particularly vital role during the nighttime, especially between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. This period is thought to be optimal for physical and mental regeneration, as well as for spiritual openness. As mentioned, melatonin is the primary hormone produced by the pineal gland, with production peaking during these nighttime hours. Melatonin is critical for regulating our circadian rhythms, the internal biological clock that governs sleep-wake cycles. Darkness stimulates melatonin production, while light inhibits it, explaining why exposure to artificial light at night can disrupt sleep. During sleep, especially in the deepest stages, the body engages in restorative processes. Melatonin helps coordinate these processes, promoting recovery and ensuring the optimal functioning of various bodily systems. Its antioxidant properties also offer protection against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and aid in memory and learning, highlighting the importance of good sleep for cognitive health. Conversely, a lack of melatonin can lead to sleep disorders, depression, anxiety, and other health issues. The hours between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. are often seen as a time of silence and introspection, where the distractions of daily life fade away, allowing for deeper connections with one's higher self and the universe. Many spiritual traditions advocate for meditation during these hours to maximize the pineal gland's activity. Nighttime meditation can help calm the mind, reduce stress, and support melatonin production. Techniques like deep breathing, visualization, and the use of mantras are particularly effective in stimulating the pineal gland, leading to heightened states of consciousness and profound spiritual experiences. Scientific studies support these claims, showing that experienced meditators often exhibit increased activity in the pineal gland. Functional MRI scans reveal that meditation can enhance blood flow to this area, boosting its function. Regular meditation not only benefits physical and mental health, but also fosters spiritual growth, offering greater mental clarity, inner peace, and a stronger connection to the divine. Activating the third eye, often associated with stimulating the pineal gland, promises to expand one's perception beyond physical limits and facilitate deep spiritual experiences. 
This process involves specific techniques designed to awaken the pineal gland, leading to potentially transformative spiritual insights and understandings. During meditation, the mind relaxes and melatonin production increases, creating an ideal state for activating the pineal gland. Several meditation techniques can be particularly effective for this purpose. For instance, focusing on the area between the eyebrows, traditionally linked to the third eye, can help stimulate the pineal gland. Visualizing a bright light or a symbol of enlightenment at this spot can intensify the effect. Techniques such as diaphragmatic breathing and alternate nostril breathing are known for their calming effects and ability to enhance concentration. Deep breathing not only oxygenates the brain, but also promotes a deep state of relaxation, facilitating the activation of the pineal gland. Exposure to natural light, especially in the early morning, is crucial for the health of the pineal gland. Sunlight helps regulate the circadian rhythm and ensures balanced melatonin production. Spending time outdoors and letting sunlight into your living spaces can make a significant difference. Conversely, minimizing exposure to artificial light, particularly before bedtime, is equally important. The blue light from screens and devices can suppress melatonin production and disrupt sleep patterns. Using blue light filters, dimming screen brightness, and creating a dark, peaceful environment at night can help maintain the pineal gland's activity and health. Dedicating time to these practices can yield various results, such as vivid visualizations, increased mental clarity, and deep feelings of peace and connection. Sometimes, during meditation, you might experience internal lights or bright colors, indicating heightened activity in the pineal gland. The activation of the third eye is often linked with an expanded consciousness, allowing one to perceive beyond the physical senses and gain a deeper understanding of reality and the universe. This process enhances intuition, empathy, and a profound sense of oneness with the universe, embarking on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment where the self and the universe are understood in a state of heightened awareness. As consciousness expands with the opening of the third eye, one begins to notice subtleties and energies previously unseen. This expansion can be seen as a powerful internal transformation, where the mind becomes more attuned to unseen realities and thoughts, emotions and intuitions become clearer and more significant. One of the first noticeable effects of activating the third eye is a heightened intuitive perception, manifesting as an innate understanding of situations and people without detailed logical reasoning. This heightened awareness transcends the ego, fostering a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all beings and phenomena, which can lead to increased compassion, empathy, and a genuine desire to contribute to the greater good. The activation of the third eye not only broadens perception and consciousness, but also catalyzes profound personal transformation. Old thought patterns and behaviors that no longer support spiritual growth begin to dissolve, making way for new ways of being that align with inner truth and life purpose. This transformation often brings a sense of renewal and enlightenment, allowing life to be lived with greater authenticity, purpose, and joy. These are profoundly transformative experiences that open new dimensions of perception and understanding. They not only enrich one's spiritual life, but also deepen the connection with the universe. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If this video resonated with you, please like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others who might benefit from this message and feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts, reflections and experiences. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and see you soon.